All right, no particular reason why Wired would have Andrew Garfield come and answer the web's most searched questions, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he's definitely not in a certain movie, yeah. and it was definitely a Photoshop. The only reason they're having him do this is because of that Netflix movie he just put out. It was great, actually. You know? Love that film. I tick, did. tick, boom. Yeah, I Yeah, that. really, really good. Go that's, watch it, you guys. That's why they're having Andrew Garfield do this, because there's so much interest on Tick, Tick, Boom. Not anything else. No. So, uh, welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kuei, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. This is called Andrew Garfield Answers the Web's Most Searched Questions, Wired. Hi, I'm Andrew Garfield, and this is the Wired Autocomplete interview. Good luck. Never in my life have I googled myself. Of course I have. It mostly hurts to google yourself, so I wouldn't <laughs> recommend it. <laughs> that's, that's real. Fun. Is Andrew Garfield a nice guy? You, you decide, man. You decide. I don't know. He seems like a nice, guy. a nice guy. I uh, think sometimes. you're nice. Like if I'm walking down the street, I'm having a nice day, and you say yo, and I'm like, yo, that's nice. Hey. But then sometimes I'll be like, hey, I don't want to say yo. I'm tired. Or like something just happened that made me sad. I just want to be a person, man. So yeah, mm, yes and no. Is Andrew Garfield in Uptown Funk? I wish. Is Andrew Garfield playing Spider-Man again? Yeah. Oh, you almost got me. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Crying out loud. Stop lying. But I'm really excited to see what they're gonna do with the next movie because I, I just love them. Is Andrew Garfield alive? What do you think? <laughs> what do you see? What do you feel? What is Andrew Garfield's accent? This one. It's an English one. I was born in Los Angeles, but I was raised in England. South of England, specifically. Is that Bastard. real? He was born Sorry. in Los Angeles? Yeah. SM71DY is my postcode, or was. What was Andrew Garfield's first movie? Lions for Lambs. A ridiculous first movie huh. to do, because Robert Redford was directing and starring. Next on the call sheet was Meryl Streep. And then after Meryl Streep was Thomas Cruise. And then after that, it was this little child yeah. called Andrew Garfield that had never made a film before. And that's ridiculous. What was yeah. Andrew Garfield nominated for an Oscar? That is bad grammar, but that's <laughs> fine because it's a search engine that doesn't have any feelings. Although maybe the people that created the search engine should have to think about that. I was nominated for an Oscar for a film called Hacksaw Ridge. I played a character called Desmond Doss. He was a conscientious objector in World War II in Okinawa. And it's a true story. And he, 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 he rescued the lives of 75 people off of this death-defying battlefield ridge and lowered them down on a rope. Yeah. It's superhuman. I remember on day one of the battle scenes of that, I thought, I'm going to do all this for real. I'm going to drag these guys to the end. I'm going to let them down. After the first guy, I literally had, had to lay down for two hours. Like, <laughs> it is ridiculous how this guy did it. It was absolutely insane. And he, he was built, uh, he was as, you know, you know, skinnier than me. What wow. Harry Potter movie is Andrew Garfield in? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Pretty sure none. I'm <laughs> flattered to be considered a, a Marauder, a, a fan cast, if you will, of a, a young Remus Lupin in the Marauders. That's uh, a sweet thought, and I appreciate um, your oh, consideration. He could. He what could. does Andrew Garfield think of Tom Holland? I really like him. I oh. think he's a wonderful person. I met him once at the BAFTAs one year. What's the expectation there? Like, what else is he going to say? I was, I was thinking he was going to be like, he's a real dick. He's an asshole. Yeah, hate him. Grow some height. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, what's he gonna say to him? On. What's he gonna say to yeah. Tom Holland about Tom Holland other than, yo, he's nice. Uh, we're, we're both British, so it works out. Yeah, buddies. Spider Man can't. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing how often Spider Man is played by an English person now. Yeah, we had a lovely talk. He's very sweet. He's a Kingston boy with neighbors, pretty much. He's from Surrey. And then, you know, mm -hmm. as, a, as an actor, I just think he's absolutely wonderful. I'm just super grateful that he's the one filling out the suit. I, I love those films. I think they've just done an incredible, incredible job with it. Yeah, he's a fan. Does Andrew Garfield? Does Andrew Garfield sing in Tick, Tick, Boom? So Andrew Garfield does sing in Tick, Tick, Boom. Yes, so thank you. Good. I worked very, very closely with an amazing vocal coach, Liz Kaplan, and all of Lin Manuel Miranda's amazing musical direction team. They enabled me to open my voice up to the point where I could honor John's songs and feel confident enough wow. to belt them out as he always did when he, he was doing was his one-man show. So, and otherwise, so, so good. it was a privilege to be able to learn a skill that I've always wanted to attain and do it in service to to John Larson. I would not be surprised if he gets an Oscar nomination for that. Yeah, like he did a really really good job. I didn't know he was actually singing in that movie. I, I thought about I it. I thought he was singing. Yeah, I thought, well, I pondered it, but I'm like, oh, surely not. Because in Ray, they replaced his voice, um, Jamie Foxx. That wasn't right. actually him singing. And Jamie Foxx can actually sing. That's I know, thing. but I'm yeah. saying like, you know, and so um, what's his name? Joaquin Phoenix, I believe, did the singing in... He did 
A hard walk was it called? Walk, walk the, the line. line. It's like a jokey name of that movie. I forgot. There's the the John the G- C. Riley. Yeah, the Jerry Cox story. The walk hard, I think, was a the hard name. Walk. Hard walk. A hard walk for a cup of water. I'm, I'm glad to find out that he actually did the singing and he did a great job. Yeah, I mean, with a lot of training, you you yeah. really can. Yeah. Does Andrew Garfield have social media? Not officially. No. I have a couple of creeper accounts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just to follow news, you know? But no, I, I'm far too sensitive to do it myself. Does Andrew Garfield know how to skate? Skateboard, yeah. I used to skateboard when I was a kid. Um, that was my first real love, actually, when I was 13, 14, 15. Listening to Rage Against the Machine, the Beastie Boys, with trousers far too big for me, with my butt hanging out. My big claim to <laughs> skateboarding fame, for anyone who knows about that famous skate spot in the South Bank of, of London, there's a set uh-huh. of seven steps, and I once kick flipped that set of seven when I was 15 years old. Wow. And then I broke my wrist, dropping him for the first time on a vert ramp. Does Andrew Garfield like lasagna? I get the reference, and I don't appreciate it. What? I don't What's get the, the reference. What's the reference? <laughs> I like lasagna. No, I love Garfield. I used to love reading Garfield comics, and oh. I do love lasagna, oh. but it's not related to the cat. But, you know, having that as a reference is good, because sometimes when people ask what my name is for a re- reservation for a restaurant or something, and I, I have an accent that's British, and when I'm in America, a lot of the time people are like, huh? And I'm like, oh, Gar- Garfield, like the cat. And they're like, oh, like the cat, cute. And I'm like, yeah, it is cute. <laughs> Why, Andrew Garfield? Don't ask me that, because I will talk for hours, and I will fall into an existential funk, and mm. I will find my way through it, and I will realize the meaning of life, but I won't be able to express it, and it will be a whole waste of time for you, but not for me. So I don't want to subject you to that. Where is Andrew Garfield? I'm searching. I'm always searching. Yeah. Always <laughs> that out. What is Andrew Garfield? What is he? What is Andrew Garfield's phone number? <laughs> Wait, that, the, the, I want to follow that bad grammar. If I put an apostrophe S there. What is Andrew Garfield's phone number? Come on. Andrew Garfield organ movie. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it sounds like the title of like my my sex tape or something. <laughs> it's like a bad translation of like what my sex tape would be called. It's been translated from like another language and it's like been printed on a t-shirt. Andrew Garfield organ movie. I think you're referencing Never Let Me Go, <laughs> which is not a sex tape and far from it. <laughs> Switching streams here. It's just an amazing story and I I would love for you guys to watch the film. I have Andrew Garfield long neck. It. It's true. I'm not going to debate that. It's a reality. I notice it every day. I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, there you are, you long neck bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a Justin Timberlake impression. I did that on SNL. I don't know if he enjoyed it. I, I wish I could be Justin when I was a kid. I wanted to be able to dance and sing like him. And she brought sexy back. That is no mean feat for one person to do. I love Justin. I loved working with him in the social network. And, you know, I had to kind of keep my cool because, you know, I am such a fan. He was so supportive of me during all that filming. He was just Gosh, that they worked together. Dude. Yeah. Like, especially during that laptop smashing scene. He came up to me afterwards and he just, he, I won't say what he said to me, but he was just so lovely. And it was like, I'm going to remember this moment. I'm talking about it now. I'm going to remember this moment forever because you're, you're, you're someone who I so admire as an artist. And like the fact that like I grew up listening to your music and now you're, tell, you're, you're telling me I did a good job on something. It's like, damn, that's really special. That's just, those are the special moments that I hope I never take for granted. Andrew Garfield, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, I think this is a reference to The Kiss. The Golden Globes Kiss. <laughs> it was what? a really fun moment. I said to him, if you win, kiss me instead of Blake, your wife, because Blake was on the other side. And he was like, amazing. Let's do it. And then he was like, what if, even if I don't win? I'm like, yeah, let's just kiss. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. Uh, it was nice to do it. I liked it. Yes, he did get lost in my eyes. I felt it. And then I realized that what, what we had done was a mistake because for me, it was just a prank, like a fun thing. But obviously, you know, it's, this happened to me before where people catch feelings and I don't. How tall <laughs> is Andrew Garfield's feet? In, it's not, it's a size 10. How to get Andrew Garfield hair? Propecia. No, I'm just kidding. How did Andrew <laughs> Garfield became famous? I don't believe I am famous. How old was Andrew Garfield in Doctor Who? Young, a little whippersnapper. 22, 23? Ah. How long was Andrew Garfield president? <laughs> Says John Garfield. John Garfield? No, who was the president? James Garfield. John Garfield was a great actor. James Garfield. I'm not, I was never president. <laughs> what did Andrew Garfield win a Tony for? Angels in America. I played the, the character Pryor Walter in the masterpiece what? that is Angels oh, in America by Tony okay. Kushner. Does Andrew Garfield do his own stunts when they allow me? Now that I'm a bit older, my knees are a bit creaky. It's a tricky thing. But uh, yeah, I love it. I, especially with the Spider-Man stuff. I loved it. It was my, my favorite part of that. I used to be a gymnast when I was a kid. And I, oh, wow. it was okay. like part of what made me love the character so much. And yeah, it's so fun. It's so fun. How many Andrew Garfield movies are there? I have no idea. Not many. I haven't made many movies comparatively 
to other people because uh, I'm a picky son of a gun. I'm either called to a film or I'm not, and Tick Tick Boom is one of those rare ones where I feel very, very called to it. Andrew Garfield, Limo Will Miranda, Tick Tick Booms in theaters now, Netflix soon too. Have a good time with it, I think you will. I'm gonna go and now contemplate why Andrew Garfield. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks so much, Wyatt, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love him. Very nice. He's like, he is such a nice vibe. I, yeah, I just want to give him cuddles or like hang out with him. What, you don't want to give people that you like cuddles? I don't want to give Andrew Garfield cuddles. I'd give Andrew Garfield a cuddle. Not creepy at all. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's hang out. Let's talk about why Andrew Garfield together. He won me over when he was secretly Spider-Man at Comic-Con. That's when he won yeah. me over. Because like he, he was in full costume walking around just like being a fan and then he showed up to do a question at the panel and it was him and everyone's just lost their shit it's like <laughs> he's that dude he's like he's yeah. that kind of guy personally i find that very relatable because i would totally do the same thing if i was spider-man that's absolutely what i'd be doing is like walking around in costumes like you don't know it's me yeah <laughs> you know what i mean yeah 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 and then like he he's just so down to earth as well i think which is what it makes him incredibly charming like he laughs at himself he's very you know self-deprecating and and everything and it's it's just like, oh, Andrew. He's naturally very expressive. His face yeah. is so expressive. Yes. Uh, there's not that many actors in Hollywood. He kind of, I don't know if there's a good comparison, but he kind of makes me feel like, uh, what's his name? Rear Window and Wonderful Life. What's that actor's name? Jimmy Stewart. Mm -hmm. He kind of gives me Jimmy Stewart vibes, even though Jimmy Stewart wasn't really known for having that kind of expressiveness. Just the vibe. Before Andrew Garfield, of all people, was Owen Wilson's brother, Luke Wilson. That mm -hmm. kind of gave me Jimmy Stewart vibes, but now it's him. Just something about him has, he's got this likability to him and he can play he's a very very good actor as well is, you yeah know? and the fact that he's so picky i think is dope because that means that everything he does like if you were to just go on a blockbuster binge of his movie block that's a dead reference now but like if you were to just go on a rental range range <laughs> if you were to just go on a rental binge of his movies more than likely everything you watch of his stuff is going to be noteworthy and good it's cool that he's like super picky like that mm -hmm. um and he's very um self-aware and self-deprecating i think it's cool yeah i was not aware that he started acting so young like, i knew he, he's yeah been around for a I've while been, i've been following yeah. his career for you know ever since he was a kid oh no cool. just kidding i had mm. no idea either like i Everything he was describing, I'm like, what? Robert Redford as a kid? What? Yeah. Like, it makes sense, I guess. Anyways, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching as I continue to sway here in this chair. Char decided to upgrade the chairs here. They're super comfy. And, like, I just can't help but sway now. But anyway, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Kawe. This is... Achara Kirk. Peace out.